and I'm back. Um, excuse any background sound. My son is on hyper ten ten. So if you hear any screaming in the background, don't worry, he's just having fun. Anyway, um, I went through my makeup collection and I found all the She Glam stuff, which I don't remember purchasing. Shocker. But we're gonna do a full face with this. My skin's been like super super dry lately, but still oily. It's annoying. So I'm gonna go in with the makeup. Pro Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Also, you guys see how TikTok now gives us 10 minute videos? Um, do you guys want 10 minute videos? Do you like long videos? Do you want me to, I don't know, go on YouTube because I can, because I don't mind, because I'm trying this out, really seeing, you know, if this, you know, this social media life is for me. I like to press this primer in. I don't know, I just feel like it works better for me when I press it in. So I'm gonna go in with the Skinfluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. I got Mocha. Another thing I like about, Jesus, oh, that was scary. Another thing I like um, about a lot of Asian um, skincare and makeup, they put the expiration date on it. Like, this ex fully expires May 4th, 2025. Get on this, brands. Get on this. So, I opened it. Looks pretty good. Doesn't it? Um, I don't know how to describe the smell. It's something I've been around before. Oh, I'm going in with my Morphe um, collab with Jacqueline Brush and JH12. Just picked up a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Not too bad. I actually really like this. This is not bad at all. Oh, good, good coverage. It doesn't feel... What's the word? It doesn't feel cakey. Like, as I'm blending it out, it feels... I don't want to say second skin because, you know, it feels like makeup, but it feels like very lightweight. So I'm building in places that I, you know, are a little darker than others. And I'm pressing it in as well as blending. Um, for coverage purposes. I mean, it is full coverage, but just in the spots that I know that I'm going to peek through. This little... I don't even know what to call it. It's not a birthmark, but this little bit of um, hyperpigmentation on my face. I actually like it because it helps me figure out where my contour is. So that doesn't have to be fully blended out. But this is what it looks like on half my face. I have pretty decent skin, so. I think it's pretty good. I didn't want to cover my eyes because I'm going to color correct and everything like that. But I really like this foundation. Blended out really nice, beautiful coverage. It's great. I'm going to now color correct with my Kimchi The Most Orange Concealer. Um, I really like this color corrector. It's like so opaque. And yes, I do color correct my eyelids sometimes. And so just going over it with a bunch of concealer and my P. Louise base. I just... Take my foundation brush and blend over it. And look at that. Blend it to perfection. So, now one thing I do like about this foundation is when I smile. It doesn't, like that line right there doesn't bother me, but it's not like a crack. I hate when my smile lines look like cracks in my makeup. Can't stand it. Now that I look alive and like a person, we're going to go in with the She Glam Concealer in Walnut. Nice color, I think. Might have to go in with a brightening one though. That's not too bad. I might put this all over it. Yeah. 
I know I have a bang, so why do I even bother putting it on my forehead? I don't know. My foundation routine feels incomplete if I don't do things in a certain order. It's very weird. Like, when I do makeup on my clients, it's so much easier. But when I do it on myself, it's like I have a weird OCD. Also, if you want to know where I got the sneak brush, this is the Sonia Cashet collection. It's really old, but... They have really good, she has really good brushes. They, she has really good brushes. You can buy them at Target. So I blended out one under eye and I think it looks pretty good. It's bright, it's nice. This would probably be like an everyday concealer for me because I like a really bright under eye. I don't know, I'm just really into it. Like. I'm so obsessed with the UK girlies. Oh, I moved my table. Sorry if y'all are wig the camera's wiggling. But I'm so into the UK, like, makeup scene right now. And I know, like, America's all about, oh, it's too much. I know. I'm a glam girl. Cake me, baby. But blend me out. You know what I'm saying? I am going to go in with my Dominique Cosmetics Concealer in Chai Latte. And I'm just going to... Brighten up the center portion of my face. Why not do the chin? This cooling tip's really nice. I just don't like that it doesn't pick up enough product, but I do like the cooling tip, so I can't really be mad. The formulas were good together. Like, I'm not having any real issues. So, it mixes well with other products. I was trying not to, but... And by the whole she glam line. So I am going to blend out my under eye and set it with the RCMA Makeup Loose Setting Powder in the color Amber. Um, it's a nice yellowy color. It's a really nice yellowy color. So I don't really like to use the back of my hand, so I take off excess in the cap. So yeah. I know, like, I know that everyone's doing it with a, like, regular setting powder than baking, but for testing purposes, I'm going to do it like this. I also set my lids. I feel like a lot of people don't do that. Like, they just go in. I mean, it, if it works for you, it works for you, but I set my lids. I just feel like... I have to. I don't know. I'm going to finish the rest of the face and come back. Dusting away excess product from where I just set. And I'm going to go in with my one size foundation powder. I don't know what happened on my phone, but I just blended out the She Glam Liquid Bronzer and Car Camel Suede. I thought it was Caramel. It's Camel. It blended okay over the powder because some products now work on powder. So I'm not going to mess up what I did. I'm just going to... Oh, God. I don't know they blended together. But, yeah. It blended out pretty good. Not too bad. And it didn't pick up a lot of my makeup. So, like, I'm just pressing, blending up, pressing, blending up. It went okay. On top of the powder. I'm kind of proud. Not bad. Not bad. Now I'm going in with the Chic Glam Liquid Blush in 103 Devoted. So I did set it, even though I put it over powder, I did set it with the Fenty Bronzer in Mocha Mami. I usually use Coco Naughty, but I'm liking a deep bronze right now. Now I'm going in with 103 Devoted. Yeah. One thing I noticed, I feel like with this product, you gotta blend it out right away. And it's fine. If you let it sit and dry, it is not your friend. That picked up a little. But not bad. And the color's still there. I'm setting the liquid blush with my Juvia's Lace. Afrique blush in Serafina. It's like this peachy tone. 
See you in part two for my final review.